Greetings, everybody, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, where our oxygen supply is actually starting to run out, which is a little bit of a problem for us. Uh, we've got a lot of jobs to do, but a lot of them can't be done simply because we do not have the required uh, storage space. So, for now, let's focus on getting our next research building up and running. We will put that right there. We're probably going to want to have a look at making more power or at least more batteries in the near future. Let's have a have a watch of how this is going. In terms of our power production, is it that I'm just not storing enough or is it that I am not producing enough? There is a difference and you need to be aware of what that difference is before you try and fix the problem. Otherwise, you could be fixing the wrong one. Um, we are charging the batteries easily enough, honestly. I would say then it's it's the uh, ooh, full shortage. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Uh, let's go ahead. Priority nine. Make a load more food. Thank you. But I would say that, that our problem really is storage. So we're going to have to pop down a couple of batteries. I mean, oh, I built that before and I took the ladder away. What a dip. Man, I imagine some people were laughing at me in the last episode over that one. Uh, right, we're going to dig. Hmm. Shall we dig through? We've actually got. Is that coal? No, it's dirt. Okay. Igneous rock, obsidian. Have we got anywhere that's got coal? Coal. Yeah, we've got some coal on the map. We could actually look to make a power, uh, a, a coal generator, for example. But at the moment, one of the things that I would like to get is some more storage. So we're going to dig that out. I would deeply appreciate getting a, a lovely sculpture going. So let's go ahead and get some decor up here to try and light up the lives of those people who are working in that location. We can, I think, get these just built above. So, um, we have one gigantic sculpture over here, for example. That would be quite nice. Or, so, yeah, two lights and a big sculpture. Uh, let's go ahead, furniture. We'll get a floor lamp there. And in fact, there, we're going to need to run some power over to them for that as well. Over here. I like to run my cables through the floor. Ooh. Ooh, dear. That needs to be repaired. Uh, I'm not liking that. That liquid is causing issue. I think it's going to break it. That is interesting. I hadn't seen that before. But that is very interesting. Yeah, it's slowly breaking. Uh, I could expedite this process, actually. Uh, you know what? Sure. Let's go ahead. We're going to destroy that. Then we're going to just mop the floor. And then everything should be good. How's everyone doing? We're almost broken through. We've got some fresh oxygen coming through because of the rocks now. Are there any other of those rocks around? I've not noticed them spawn very much outside of your starting area. I think there's just a little bit to help you get going initially. Because obviously, you know, it is a difficult game. And if you didn't have any at all, then you'd probably not survive for very long. Um, but we do need some more power. Oh, there we go. It has been broken. So we can now... Fill that up. Unfortunately, there's going to be this little pocket of air that has been stolen from our colony. Scallywags. But uh, let's get the mop and bucket going. Because people are going to get sick otherwise. And then all the way along there as well. That is going to spread out very quickly indeed. Uh, good, good, good. You got it right there. So it's not spreading any further. You could micromanage the priorities and like put nine here, then nine down there, but then eight and six, seven and sixes. But honestly, for the most part, I've never had a leak that's that bad that I needed to do that. So uh, for now, we're okay. But we can now at least do some more research. And looking into the electrolyzer, the biodistiller, and the water purifier seem reasonable, especially with such a massive body of contaminated water very, very nearby. Later on, we can also get the air scrubber, which will filter carbon dioxide. dioxide and remove it from the air so we could focus more on that we've got the gas filter sieves one type of gas um, from a mixed composition and also the liquid filter these are very nice you can basically start um, if you've got a mixed water body you can pop it up and uh, filter out the good water and filter the contaminated water into whatever system you're using to store your contaminated water ready for later um, purification now, with that done, we are going to have to set this one to constant fabrication. There we go. Things are moving along. And who's working on it at the moment? Minya is working on it. Wonderful. Let's see. How is that going to be? I hope that's going to be a lovely one. 
How are we doing for food? We are not doing well for food at the moment. So let's continue fabricating mush bars. We will eventually get to the point where we've got some decent food. Right now, these mush bars are potentially giving people diarrhea, which well, at least one person already has had diarrhea from it, which does suck. I agree, but, you know, we'll get there eventually. Now, there we are. Oh, brilliant. Another mediocre statue is raising the decor in this room. By a fair old amount, people are generally going to be de-stressed by being there. And these lamps are going to help out as well. Because people like to be able to see what they're doing when they're, when they're eating, you know. Um, how's everything else going around here? We've got a little mulewood plant over there. We will eventually have lots of those. Uh, there we go. I'm actually going to decrease the priority on this to a 2. And the same for this one. There's a lot of other work I want to do. And this is my workroom. It doesn't need to be super lovely all the time. I need to get other things done as a much higher priority. Okay, so you're moving around water to all of the plants. That's good. Uh, are we doing much? Uh, mostly just still still um, sweeping. You know what, though? I think the sweep order needs to be moved. Let's get rid of the sweep order for the time being because it's distracting them because they haven't to walk so far. Later on, we'll deal with that. But for now, I don't think it's necessary. We'll, we'll get that done when we've got a lot of story space. Because they're basically coming down, they're picking up a tiny amount of dirt, walking back, dropping it off, then going back down, picking up a tiny amount of dirt, and so on and so forth. And uh, right now, we can afford to get another duplicate, so let's have a look at what we've got. Flatulence. Some duplicates are just full of it. But you're naturally robust. Okay, good. And you've got an iron gut. Very good. Night Owl, Dimensionally Inept and an Archaleptic, and Night Owl, Bottomless Stomach. Well, the Night Owl trait I'm really not that impressed with, but look at your things here. My lord, that is good. But you've got cooking, you've got three cooking, mind you, you've only got two. Um, hmm. And your, yeah, your vomiter is, you no, know, we're going to go with Nadia. And Nadia, by Chaotocles' decree, shall in fact be, let's see... Inferito. Make sure I spelled that correctly. Yes, I have. Welcome to the colony, Inferito. Print. There we are. Perfect. Now get to work. Now I need to make sure that you're pretty much the only cook. Because you're the best one at it. There we go. Uh, make sure that you're not doing the other jobs that I want other people to do. Ooh, I forgot this five. Yeah, okay. Bilal, you can now work on that as well. Actually, no. Bilal, you've got other jobs that I prefer you to do. Frankly, uh, that is it for now. We do need some more people who are good at... Um, yeah, CW Logan, you can now actually help out with composting, uh, actually. And uh, maybe Calissa Fox as well. Yeah, okay. Because I think they only get the skill if they do it. So you don't want to over-specialize if that is, in fact, how it works. Um, because then you'll, you're you just compounding the problem. You'll still only ever have one person who's good at it. Uh, are we doing okay with power now? We are generating more power than we're using, which is good. Let's have a look at our reports. Previous day. Okay, that was actually very nice. Much more oxygen generated than used. Very, very good. Power wasted, though. Oh, that's actually pretty bad. Okay, we're going to want to look into that. As a matter of importance. Oh, look at this room. This room is now actually quite beautiful. Uh, I am going to prioritize sweeping that little bit there. Oh, can I not? Oh, oh, it's sand. Okay. That that doesn't get swept. Or was I? Oh, I was deconstructing because I'm an idiot. Never mind. No? Oh, okay. I don't understand why that's not moving on. Hmm. I really dislike it when I don't understand something in the game. I'm going to have to look into that. I do apologize for for displaying my ignorance for the world to see. Uh, let's go ahead and fabricate more food. We're slowly catching up with that. Stressed. Oh, my lord, Miss Minnie, you are super stressed. What is making that work? Why? Hmm. Not liking this. Not liking this at all. Let's have a look at the vitals. Most people are super low stress. But Miss Minnie and CW Logan, they're mega stressed. What are you doing that is stressing you out? Miss Minnie, what job do you have? You've got no particular job. Uh, it could just be that your decor is not good enough. There's a lot of things it could be. Um, Alright, well, given that then, I think we need a special room for dealing with our stressed duplicates. And that special room is going to be over here. And I'm actually going to prioritize building this one. So we are going to want... Go ahead and start doing things because it's night time. It's not really going to matter. Uh, we'll build this out. I'm going to have the door here. 
And then I'm gonna have um two maybe one two one two yeah and then a space. And there we go. And then we're gonna dig this room out. And let's get this done quickly, people, because Miss Minnie is slowly losing her mind. We don't want Miss Minnie to lose her mind. No, 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 no. Uh, we'll build this door. That's not a high priority, though. So let's just get this room sorted as quickly as we can. We also need to get these built very fast because we absolutely, desperately need them. There we go. Uh, I don't like stocking up too much storage like that, but we'll do it for now. I probably should get some, some of it down here. I <laughs> love the way the, the cheeks puff out when they're holding their breath. Uh, all and all. And as soon as this is built, we'll have this one on all as well. There we go. All. There we are. Now we're going to need this room to be swept clean. Because this is going to be a very important room for our colony. Uh, how are we doing for food? We are not doing great. Uh, we're still making food though, so that's good. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Vomited. Uh, okay, probably Miss Minnie actually. Um, poor Miss Minnie. Super stressed right now, isn't she? Right, let's get it from the top. Otherwise, we're just working against ourselves. Come on, do it quickly though. So I don't want this everywhere. There we are. Let's get all of that sorted. Then we'll go from down here as well. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We will get this sorted. Don't worry, Miss Minnie. I am such a bad colony manager. There we go. Let's make sure that everything is clean in here. Oh, do not do not mop up the water. We want that. That's the good stuff. But here we go. Okay, so I can build this right now. It's not gonna be super effective until I sort the room out, but I can get it built. Uh, that one is going to be a priority now. So let's get that made, and I can assign Miss Minnie to it. We'll have two massage tables just to help out our colonists. Miss Minnie, there you go. Go and be massaged by giant robot hands. Let's look at that face. That, that is the face of absolute happiness right there. However, we are going to need these rooms cleaned up as well. Ooh, what's wrong? No power. That's bad but we'll get it there power basically travels along the wire from what i can tell so the closer things to the power generation the better um what we're going to want down here is we're going to want this room swept clean so make that a priority nine please there we go how's everything else doing uh it's not great it's certainly not great we we do need to hurry up with this honestly uh, you've lived some pot of water, you're off to the lavatory. One of them is currently in use. It, that one's going to be full soon. Yeah, so it's good that that one's been cleaned out. Now, Miss Minnie is basically going to sit there until she is totally not stressed anymore. That is a problem. When you send someone to the massage table, it basically keeps them there until they're fixed. And so if you wait until they're really, really stressed before you do it, uh, you know, it obviously doesn't go so well. I could have a light in here, but I would rather have... A really nice sculpture. So we're going to get that in there. It's not going to be a mega high priority. I'm going to make it a 7. Let's just get that going. Sort that out so that it helps pull down stress a little bit faster. Skill increase. Who is better? CW Logan is better at uh, working on machines. And we've got liquid piping research completed. Now that... Oh, sorry. That was ages ago. We're currently working on percolation. We're going to leave that... Uh, is that actually called... Pre yeah, it's percolation. I was thinking pre-location maybe instead. It's per percolation. I guess it makes sense, but it kind of threw me threw me there. Uh, there we go. So we'll, we'll get these rooms cleaned out for Miss Minnie. Uh, Miss Minnie will be significantly less stressed whilst being there, which will be grand. Let's get all of the dirt out because that is a massive contributor to stress. Okay, this place is actually looking quite nice. I do need more batteries though, and that is becoming an ever-increasing problem. We could have some battery storing power up down here, or even a second power generation location down here. That was a bit of a mouthful, but I think that might actually work. Um, sure. Uh, well, no, no, it is just batteries we need right now. We've got one person working on that machine, but look how fast those batteries drain. Yeah, we need a lot more battery storage. So, uh, we're starting to get low on food again. I could tell them to, to do this manually. In fact, for the time being, I'm going to tell them to fabricate it on um, repeat. Normally, I don't like doing that because I don't like them eating that particular type of food. But it's taken us longer than I was anticipating to get a farm set up. 
Right, we've got another oxygen producing rock over there that is currently supplying the colony, which is great. How is our breathable air supply? I mean, it could be better. It could be better. Uh, we could go ahead and drop in some algae to, um, yeah, if we make this room a little bit bigger and actually set up a battery down there, that would make sense. Now, let's actually have a look. Has Miss Minnie complete? well, she's down to 47%. Alright, we're going to let everyone else do, just do other work for now. There's a lot of things that we need get, to get done, but it's going to take us a little while. I need to get some more battery set up, but that, that much is absolutely clear to us. So, let's go ahead. We're going to expand this room, and I'm going to have a, a, a couple of algae um, terrariums in here as well, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and dig this back to about there. Sure, that'll do. And we'll also then build the tiles because the tiles themselves help with the decor as well. And yeah, because I'm such a so finicky over things like this, I'm actually going to match this room up. There we go. <laughs> Oh man, if I could get over my compulsion to make things shaped a certain way, I would be so much more efficient at games. Right, Belial is making, hopefully, a wonderful item there. Yeah, that's cool, it's starting to leak in from this item, uh, actually, which is kind of nice. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Yeah, I know, the auction isn't great. It'll get better, though. Trust me, trust me, things will get better. Go room for one more uh, duplicate before I need to expand out our living quarters for them. But uh, things are generally alright. People can't breathe too well down here. That is a problem that we need to resolve. So, we'll leave room for a couple of batteries on that side. I'm thinking... Mm, one is probably enough, honestly. Once it gets going. So, we're going to do this and we're going to add in a ceiling lamp. Um, if I pop it there, it'll actually... Oh, no, it'll cover them anyway. So, that's fine. And then, we, of course, we need to run the power across there. In fact, the power is already there, which is grand. There we go. All sorted. And there's plenty of oxygen down here. And this water is lasting us a long time. Very long time. Uh, that's a bit of a shame. Uh, it doesn't quite measure the entire body of water. That would be really useful. Um, should. And the, the, you know, incredibly low chance that one of the devs does see this video. That would be a super useful feature. If when you hovered over a liquid, it told you what all of the connective liquid of that type was. What the volume of liquid in the entire um, system was, for example. Uh, but there we go. Once we can get all of that sorted, that would be great. We just need a little wire up there. Miss Mini stress. What's it down to now? I think now, actually, it is not Miss Mini who's the most stressed. No, Miss Mini's down to 12 stress. And it's still going down pretty quickly. Now that this room is super uh, nice, we've got lovely decor in there. Okay, well, on that note then, I'm swapping this out. Sorry, I would would like to be able to uh, let you finish there. But I'm swapping out to uh, C.W. Logan because C.W. Logan is the most stressed now by quite a large margin. So there we go. Everything should be a little bit better. It's a shame that we've got all the storage all the way up there. I am probably going to make a secondary storage area somewhere around here. Maybe even down here, actually. That would be a not-too-bad location to place one. Um, I am going to... Well, for the time being, actually, I shouldn't do that because it's the main way that they're getting up there. Um, because they can only jump two tiles. How's everyone doing? We, we need to sort out the, the battery situation, actually. That one is the, the biggest problem. Having someone running that all day does take one of the duplicates out of our um, staff. But it's not as big an issue, I don't think. Um, you are the only cook right now. Uh, you're also cooking, but I would rather you not. Uh, Belial, I would rather you not be a cook, frankly. Um, Calissa Fox can be, though. But Calissa Fox has already got a lot of jobs that she does. Um... But that being said, uh, Inferita, you're actually now going to be helping out with that because you've got some tinkering level. There you go. Thankfully, each job, I think, raises more than one skill in some cases. We've got a decent amount of food right now, but we, we definitely need to get this all sorted. Are we actually at a point now? Yeah, you know what? I think we're at a point now with our power generation is simply... It isn't just the storage, it is the power generation. So with that in mind, we're going to build the second power generator down here. And because that's going to be closer to things on this side, having the power generation at opposite ends of the base, it'll prioritize different things, which will help out in the long run. Let's uh, tidy this up then. So that this whole room needs to be cleaned at a fairly high 
level. Let's get that sorted, please. Also, this is helping out just a teensy, weensy little bit. Um, I may even add, actually add in a couple more of them, frankly. Uh, yeah, we'll have three. We'll get some other decor items that will that'll help out with generally rising the mood of people in this room. That, that should be fine. So there we go. Let's just get all of this sorted, please. Oh, that was fantastic. He just jumped up on top and then just fell down. Oh, glorious. I liked it. I shouldn't have, but I did. And let's get that sorted. There's going to be a lot of... Uh, a lot of issues with breathing in this room for a little while. I'm sorry about that, my friends, but it's going to be a thing that happens. Can we get that built? Yeah, we can get it built eventually when someone starts to work on it. What are we grabbing there? Do we have raw minerals? What have we got? We've got granite, igneous rock, obsidian, raw metals, copper, gold, amalgam. I didn't even realize that was a thing. Very well. Uh, we've got a... Wow. Are we just storing this water? Or is, it, is this actually measuring the water that's available to us? Hmm. Or maybe it's measuring the water that's across all of the buildings that require water to be stored in them. That would be an interesting one. There we go. We've got three, three uh, plants now. So this should start working out for us. I'm not going to worry about sweeping this room. As much as that's going to irritate people in there, it's not a super high priority for me just yet. Uh, let's get these rooms sorted first. There we go. Right, now. What is a super high priority is getting some power generation. And I would like... Um, where's that light able to reach? Well, it's not going to show me right now, but once this kicks in... So right there. So if I did put this here... Uh, yeah, okay. Let's get that going. And we'll run the power across to it straight away so that we're starting to benefit from it. But then we're going to have a couple of batteries, I would say. One, two, three over there. Leaving a little bit of room for me to build other things. And once again, I like running the wires through the walls. I don't like daisy chaining them between buildings. That does seem to be discouraged in some ways. Again, like I said, priorities and stuff like that. So if you're daisy chaining them, you're literally moving from one to the next to the next to the next. And one at the end of the daisy chain is never going to get power. It is even remotely a, a deficiency situation. Whereas when it's running through walls. Granted, things close by will get a priority, but it's not going to be strict priority, which I am a little bit happier with. Right, we've got one more space, so this is the last duplicate we're going to receive for a little while, assuming there's one that I want. Ooh, you have my attention. You've really got my attention, though. Super got my attention. Uh, you're destructive, but, uh, hmm... But you got a little bit of everything. But no, I, I think we have to go with Woodrow. So, Keltricles. There we go. We have a name. It will be Lana. Welcome to the colony, Lana. You are the final duplicate that we're going to be printing. Well, certainly in this episode. But maybe for the next one or two. Until I build a new living quarters and I can assess whether we're actually producing nearly enough oxygen for everything that we're doing. There we go. So we've got all of these three. They, they should be doing a decent bit of work there. And, uh, oh, it looks like our, yeah, our stress is super low now. That is great. Look at that. Everyone is pretty much de-stressed. Oh, I'm so happy. I mean, Lana is not, not super good with things, but is more or less okay. Uh, yeah, you're not cooking, but I'm still going to allow Inferito to cook. I'm not going to take away your job. Uh, research is fairly high for you. So now we've got a couple of decent researchers. I'm going to leave them doing their jobs. You're not going to be doing that. You are deaf. Uh, why have I got Inferito doing, doing art? I have no idea, but you shouldn't be. Um, I will also have you guys joining in on the... You've got decent enough athletics now that I'd like you to start working on that. Um, harvesting... No one's really doing the harvesting yet, but I am going to remove um, the lowest ones. So it's all based on your digging skill on this one. I'm um, sure the threes and the fours can keep carry on doing that. Uh, building. Uh, anyone can do that. I don't mind too much about that one. But there we go. Now hopefully we can get these made fairly soon. But as things go, I think the colony's doing okay, considering I haven't expanded it that much. And normally that's a really, really dangerous place to be. If you don't expand quickly enough, you don't connect to extra pockets of air. Mind you, the further you go, it seems the less likely you are going to be finding decent air. Uh, so soon, and I really do mean soon, we're going to have to start looking at uh, setting up uh, pumping water and things like that, because we're, we're really going to start hurting for that. That's really going to become a problem soon. Uh, let's leave it about that deep and then build this out. 
There we go. So I want to hook up to this little area, if for no other reason than to connect the uh, connect the air, frankly. I'll also dig that away. And these as well. Let's get rid of those. There we go. And it seems the things are not doing terribly badly, though I would really love it if you could get all of these done. I really should have made them a higher priority. Okay, we're going to prioritize. I'm going to set them up to priority 7. This is another easy way to do that. Just boom. There you go. You just sweep it across things and they get a uh, blanket increase to their priority to whatever, or decrease for that matter, to whatever priority you, you had set. But there we go, we've now got more places where you can generate power, so this should help. And also, there we are, Bilal is getting to work. Thank you very much, Bilal. We should get all of this hooked up soon. Food shortage. Really shouldn't be having that because there should be someone constantly working on that. Insufficient oxygen generation. Let's have a look at their reports. Um... I don't know what you're talking about there. Okay, yeah, today we've been doing pretty badly, but hopefully now that we've got more power coming in, that will actually start evening itself out a little bit here and in fact there. Things are not great over there, but uh, we hope we'll be able to get that resolved. I might even put another pump in there, I'm not sure. What are you lacking? It is just power that... Oh, no, max gas pressure. Ah, okay, now that's a problem. Now it's down to the algae only to resolve that because this can't deal with it because there's too much gas pressure there because ultimately we're not getting rid of the gas well we're getting rid of a little bit of it but we're taking in um oxygen we're releasing carbon dioxide eventually everything will just be replaced with carbon dioxide so we do need a way of getting rid of that now did we have a scrubber yet no we do not uh, where will that be in this chain of things? It will be over there. Gas air scrubber. So yeah, we're going to have to go to advanced filtration more or less straight away. But now we've got a decent amount of power coming in. Things should start working out. The algae terrariums are helping us with this. They, they definitely are helping us. Um, got all the power there that we need for just this little while. Uh, let's have a look through here. Is there anything else that I really strictly need? We don't need a med bay yet because we've not done anything that needs a med bay. Uh, we could build this to just try and uh, raise people's moods a touch. And I like that idea. Let's go ahead and, and build these. There we go. Leave a little bit of room just so it uh, looks nice down there. Starting to move things around, generally getting stuff sorted, which is great. New task, uh, no research task selected, that is fine. We have now got the biodistiller, the electrolyzer, and the water purifier. So, with the water purifier, we can start looking at these vast bodies of really, really bad water. But uh, we're going to have to find a way to hook all of that up. We can actually pump this water down if we really want to. But I'm not going to prioritize that in this episode. Over here, we've got hydrogen. Later on, we can make a hydrogen reactor, which is going to be fantastic. And down here, we've got chlorine. Oh, my Lord. Uh, contaminated oxygen, very toxic. Contaminated water. That's going to continue being a theme as we expand outwards. But uh, we're getting a few things built over here. We're just digging up all of that. We've got loads of batteries now, which is great. Very, very happy with the battery situation. We probably do want to look into the advanced... Um, Let's see, the the advanced uh, power though, because eventually we can get to the coal generator and the hydrogen generator, as I just mentioned. But it's advanced filtration that we need right this second, because we need to start getting rid of the CO2. Just purely destroying the CO2 is something that we need. And probably we'll put those at the lower part of the base. Or if we go for coal power, definitely in the power generation room, because as you can imagine, coal power plant doesn't produce, you know, it's not a clean form of energy. It's going to make the air particularly nasty and so having air scrubbers in that room is going to be a priority but overall i would say that the uh, breathability of our base is actually fairly high i'm really really liking it and, and despite the, all the contaminated oxygen over there it's generally not too bad that they are still basically pooping in, in uh, rather filthy little house houses which is not grand for them i'm gonna be honest with you but i'm liking the areas that we've got so far we are gonna need some more storage so uh, yeah we'll pop probably something down here um, or I might reserve that for some more batteries as time goes on. How much charge have we got? Oh, there we go. The charge is all but gone. That's fine. People aren't needing that strictly right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just set up the next little bit of the base. And that's going to be down here where we're going to have some more storage containers. So let's get all of this dug out like so. And down there as well, so that we can actually access this area, because ultimately we want to get at the, the algae over there. In fact, on that 
point. Let's just double check. Algae is going down really, really fast. That is massively bad. We need to super prioritize getting that algae then. And at this point, we really need to start looking at getting the uh, the ability to convert slime into algae. Because eventually that's going to be much more prevalent than algae is. And at this point, I can't afford to ignore the algae down here. We absolutely need to go and collect it. Uh, in fact, we need to collect it from anywhere there is algae. So all of this is going to be dug out. And we're going to need ladders going all the way down. Uh, that is just the way it's going to be. Algae is basically our lifeline. Without algae, we do not produce any oxygen. And things go really, really quite badly for us. So there we are. We've reprioritized all of the digging. This area is going to be a little storage room. It's not going to be going to be much. We'll probably have a little door, just because I like having doors. But uh, we're not going to have really much decor in there at all. It's just a storage area. Nothing more, nothing less. It'll help with moving things around. We are charging the batteries. I probably do need to look into getting the larger batteries fairly soon, though. Fairly soon. Uh, I will set this area up to be swept clean. Same down here. This one doesn't need to be a high priority, though. We'll just make it a priority. Um, there we are. Just that they do do the work, but there we are. We've got loads of algae coming in, and that is exactly what we needed. I need to get rid of this sand, though, as well. There we go. All right, so everything seems to be in a reasonably good working order for the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed and are looking forward to more coverage of the game. In fact, we've got uh, some uh, meal lice over there we can harvest, which I probably should. But that is it from me for now. So, as ever, remember to like if you liked, some if you haven't, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.